So, just the four vets on board, on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. Risky. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, hmm. everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn Whatever, short, I'm not gonna question and them. pertinent. None of that sad sack bullshit. Stan don't want to get involved. Okay. okay, I'm in. Whatever. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. Sounds fun. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us? Fuck or will we meet anyway. you there? We'll meet there. I'm riding. riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Bobby. No one at camp is gonna notice you gone. He's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. The Raffins, what Raffin. about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. You took adjustment yeah. for me, too. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh, never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie. I'll remember that. Jackie boy. We have arrived. Bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. You're all yeah, cabin combina. Drive this beast of the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The military convoy Pan will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V. Any questions? No. Nah, Plan to move this thing how exactly? <sighs> it's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. The tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay. Let's get to work. That's it. <laughs> I can just use tech. Abilities. I might loot around a little bit. Yeah, I got you. I got you, girl. I got you. My beast. <laughs> oh, we could have come through here. Even if we. Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. Talk to the nomads. Ah, I don't care. And the stations where so many tracks converge. Huh. Junctions. Yes, those. 
When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Hopeful? I thought there was somebody here, no? Keep going up. Carol! Hmm. What are we looking for? Punch cards. What cards? Punch cards. Punch All cards. cards. Pose and and it's downstairs. Sure, look. sure thing. Sure. Got Come something. On. Good job. Carol, we have a card. What now? Carol. Carol. You have to put it in the reader. Well, okay. the the card in the reader. Yeah. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Petrotronic. See it from Little there. engine that could. <laughs> v, I wanted to speak with you. What do you need? What's wrong? You're so sentimental right now. Missed you? Whatever. Starting to have doubts. What, what do you want to talk, talk about? about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me, but... Yeah? Why are you doing this? Please out, not doing it for free. Or trust issues again. Uh, trust issues again? I thought we talked it all out. V, I know I can count on you. But... But... No one has ever done something like this for me before. Not without a catch. Um. I mean, nobody from the family. And nobody from outside the fam. Yes. We could both stand and think about what that means. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. I don't know what that was about. For now. So she, because the thing is, if she still trusts me, why the doubt? And I was gonna ask, like, if you have any doubts about the the whole situation, you know? But it's not about the job; it's about herself. V, do you know where Pan Am is? Uh no idea. Not a babysitter. <laughs> I don't care what's going on between you two. I'm just asking. Can't give me a straight answer. When you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Sure. We could still Got some stew and everything. Down a minute, honey. Looks good. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Nice. Talk to the vets. Hurry up and wait. Worried about Saul? Worried about Saul. You're acting spooked. No? As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. I like her dress. Uh, I just know someone I know. <laughs> no. Scorpion, you came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. 
I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. <laughs> Drink to scorpion, fuck it. To scorpion. Yeah, for sure. They don't know him. <laughs> sure, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> to Jackie. Alright, yeah, yeah. Drink. Just a little bit. I don't want to get too drunk. And then we'll talk about the war. Smooth it out with the vets. Not talk about the war much. What's there to okay. say? They just packed you into a Mexico? Panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. Sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Okay. I think I'll try to get some shit. Try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Scooch closer. Can tell you won't be getting any sleep. Hey, did you just doze off? Wake me up if anything happens. I don't know. <laughs> well, let's just give it a shot. Just give it a shot. I don't care. I'm Not true, but this is nice. Catch some shit eye with me. She's gonna say no. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? <laughs> you got maps of the heavens in your library too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And you see the small flickering star to the right? I guess we're just tunes. Look at the stars. Where? Yeah. That you one? Do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Sure. <laughs> it's right there, I see it. Good night, B. Have a good night. I don't know. I don't know. Just, I don't want to force anything. Especially okay, when she literally go. just rejects me all the night. But there's no time to Let's ride, dwaddle. Pete. Let's fuck some shit up. Come on. I need action. Not that type of action. <laughs> Not yet. I feel like they're they're trying to build like the characters or like the relationship over time. And it makes sense. It feels better that way. What is that? Alright. She's moving. Get her up to speed. You're all combinat. I wonder what that means. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Hey, no coming in hot. Take out that coupler. Which one? Shoot out the damn coupler! I'm trying to. <laughs> Alright. Surround them as soon as Where? they're cut off. Uh oh. Okay, so those drones are ours, I'm guessing. Oh shit! Now I remember what's going on. Ooh. Okay. 
fuck yeah. I ran out. I ran out. Oh, oh fuck. They're, they're taking shit on bullets. Literally came at me. Got him. All is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. Let's go. Okay, let's go. She really left me like blocked. Oof. I scored the trucks to the nomad camp. Okay. Of course it did. Just as I said it would. I feel like we're gonna get ambushed. I don't think this. That was too simple. How's it going there, V? Escort the trucks. Yeah, sure did. Cassie Ryder. Right Real fun is just mm. start pitching Teddy. Whose was that, though? Was that Biotechnicus or Militech? It's really close to the camp too, man. Risky. Okay. Just lost the Militech channel. So it's finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. Mm. Perfect timing if you ask me. Cool cause. I'll take care of this myself. <laughs> He's just coming over. Fuck, an app. So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am, you can see them from miles away! It's military. Do you think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you Jesus want to serve Christ. corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll pissed. make the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Well, you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Till that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Some lungs you got Quite a for real. There. What the fuck? Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seem to still be in fine working Shh. order. You okay? You okay. Says. Yes, of course. Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. Hmm. Let me know if you need me, me again. again. All you gotta do is call. V. I am sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Where's my pay? <laughs> I need my money. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is that? Look A drone. What I found. Hey, V. Come wow. Here. Who's was that? 
Josh's. He had it since he was a child. Nice. What do you need? Now. Mitchy boy. Soot and ash. Oh man, that what's going on here? Is that scorpions? <laughs> oh, because they're doing the service, right? Forgot about that. Okay, hey, what's up, man? Hey, Mitch. Hanging in there? You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh, meh. So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Yeah. Yeah. Name was, why would I say I don't have any friends? Name was Jackie. Uh-huh. How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Can't now. Yeah, okay. I'll help. I'll help. Come on, then. You're okay behind the wheel, right? Yeah, and? Yeah, of course. We're going for a drive. Uh-huh. And where? Let's go. I can tell you're a city boy. You want to know everything. Now. Yesterday. <laughs> A little patience, V. What's wrong with that? Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Used to be scorpions, that rig. Now she belongs to me. And my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions. You hop in the other. Okay, all right, that's fine. let's go. Let's hit the road. It's like more questions was follow point. me. Oh, you take this one. I like this one better. What? <gasps> Weaponized. I like that. Let's go, Mitch. Mitch. You hear me? Yep. But more driving, less talking. Ah. Uh. Sun on my face, wind in my hair. Piece of shit. Scared me. Oh, hey. Haven't seen you in a while. Not a fan of funerals. <laughs> yeah. You and death don't really mix. Say that like it's my fault. Never asked Saburo to put me on that fucking chip. Or for you to <laughs> slot it in your head. I hope this place True. is too far. Speaking of, where are we going? Not a clue. I don't know. What a good he didn't say. Scout. So trusting, so accommodating. It's a scorpion. His last wish or something. Is that good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment. <laughs> Whoops. Collapsed bridge. Other side of that hill. Copy. Almost there now. Okay, copy. Looking good. I thought he was going to jump. Here we are. Go ahead, kill the engine. What is going on? <gasps> you lost your fucking Holy mind. Holy shit, Mitch. What the hell? Relax, V. It's what Scorpion wanted. He wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire? No, he wanted me to take him here. And send him off with a bang. We a set bang. him up behind the wheel. Douse the car. Then light it. Let him fly off the edge. Are you shitting me? If that's what he wanted. That's what the Scorpion fuck? wanted. He did. Said it a million times if he said it at all. Grab me that can, will you? Pick up. Here you go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. Shit. Uh, I don't remember this. The driver is already behind the wheel. No point wasting mm. time. Another hour or two, Duh. and he'll puff up like a balloon. Right. All right. What's the plan? Shall we get this show on the road? 
Sure, it's a good idea, man. Absolutely sure this is a good idea. No, V. No, I am not. But it was my best friend's dying wish, so I'll do whatever the fuck I can to make it happen, with or without you. Let's do okay. it. Hell yeah! I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. Hmm. She's burning! Quick, before she blows! May the road be kind to you, friend. Out with a bang. Just like he oh, wanted. It Man. Soot and ash. That much remains. So... How about a beer? Sure. Of course. Sure. I'll drink to a send off like that. Where's mine? Well, come on. Where's it? Ah, nothing like a good cold one. Agreed. Hey, Where'd it come from, of, Scorpion? Where'd that nickname come from? Scorpion. Funny. Mm. You know, I haven't the slightest idea. Never asked him. Is he a Scorpio or something? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he had a big stinger. <laughs> uh, Scorpion, mm. you old bastard. I'm gonna miss you, man. <laughs> Why'd you Why ask me? me to help? Why'd you ask me to help? Oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh, I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your path crossed. Okay. Just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Listen, there's a, a few things of his you ought to have. Like this little good luck charm. Oh, what the fuck Go is on. that? It's yours. Scorpion? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. What is it? Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him. No idea why. No fucking way. Listen. I'm gonna sit here for a while, right? <laughs> Brood in peace. Understood. I'll, uh, I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. Oh, and, okay. uh, thanks, V, for today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. Sure. You're all right. You're really all right. Cool. Man. I'll fly. So, out of a tribute. Out of respect for Scorpion. Let's do this. What was it? Number five? No. Number six. Yes, sir. We are role playing as Corbin. All right, let's go.